Good afternoon, my name is Stephen O'Donnell and this is a very short guide video on how to live stream directly from Zoom to Crowdcast or indeed uh, from any other channel onto Crowdcast but Zoom is what we're going to be concentrating on just now. Uh, so first of all you can see on my screen uh, the uh, the events that we have in our channel which is Recruiter Zone. We generate content on a, a weekly basis, uh, webcasts and live shows uh, on uh, uh, pretty much every, every uh, day of the week, week of the month. Uh, and you can see the shows set up here. So in order to set up a, a show with Zoom, uh, I'm going to go to uh, set up a test show. A test show is basically a quick way of setting up an unlisted uh, show for test purposes. I could set up a new event, uh, but there's more settings involved in doing that and we don't need to make a listed event. So I'll set up a test. So first of all, we have a test show being created. Let's come on here. Uh, the next thing that we can do here uh, is we could prepare to go live uh, but what we want to do is to send, uh, a, rather than use the, the webcam uh, to record to, uh, to, to the screen, we want to send video from a Zoom uh, meeting to the screen. Uh, so when I click on prepare to go live here, I get the option to go into green room with a webcam or to use OBS, Wirecast, Ecamm, Live and more. And the more would be Zoom in this case. So what I'm going to do first of all is go to my Zoom account and make sure that the settings are correct. So if I go over here to Zoom, if I go into settings and then to in meeting advanced settings and then scroll down here, uh, allow live streaming meetings, make sure that this is enabled. Uh, we can choose to be streaming directly to Facebook uh, or to YouTube uh, or to a custom live streaming service, which is what we are going to do here. Now, the instructions that I have uh, shown here, these are just free text instructions on what to do when streaming to uh, my Restream channel. Uh, but when streaming to uh, Crowdcast, each time you set up a new show, uh, you will get a unique set of uh, 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 streaming uh, information to do that, which will first of all include the RTMP URL, which typically will start RTMP colon slash slash and so on with the, uh, the URL for streaming. And you'll also get a, a live streaming key. So as I say, each time you set up live streaming from Zoom to Crowdcast, you'll get a unique key. So you're not really able to set that up in advance and use the same settings each time. You, it, it'll be new each time. So having done this, uh, that's that's then enabled. Uh, all I need to do is set up to uh, to have a, a show with video. So uh, let's host uh, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> let's set up a, a Zoom uh, show right now. Uh, this should go live in just a second. Having done that, uh, I now want to uh, to. Uh, stream this live to uh, to Crowdcast uh, and what I want to do here is come down to more click on more choose live on custom live streaming service and here this will take me to another page where I need to uh, uh, enter the, uh, the the streaming URL which I'm going to get from uh, I'm going to get from the, uh, the, the the Crowdcast channel so if we go back over to Crowdcast on here Click on OBS, Wirecast, Ecamm Live and more. This opens up this, connect to your live streaming software with RTMP Studio, which is what this part of Crowdcast is called. Broadcast and record in HD with a 20 second delay. Very important, you need to know that there's at least a 20 second delay uh, when uh, when broadcasting through, uh, through this. So I click Start Studio Engine. My live streaming software has been set up. It's, it's, it, it's live right now, but we're not live to, uh, to Crowdcast just yet. So we start the engine below. This takes a few seconds just to, uh, to, to get ready and that will give us the code that we'll take over to Zoom. Uh, so that should come in just a second. Fingers crossed. Uh, I should also say that uh, in, in streaming Zoom to Crowdcast, obviously Zoom has some features uh, that are not available in Crowdcast. So those are the reasons that you might want to use it where you've got maybe 16 people on screen or more. Uh, or you've got a webcast set up where you're inviting guests on and off or using some of the other functions on there such as their particular style of uh, uh, polling and so on. So now we've got these uh, these settings here. I want to copy these. So the server URL, click copy here, go over to Zoom and in the streaming URL we want to uh, uh, put this into here. If I can get it to cooperate, let's just paste that in there. And the next thing, I'll get the stream key which we'll take here, delete that there and paste. Uh, the live streaming page URL is actually the page URL on, uh, uh, in this case, Crowdcast. So if I go back to Crowdcast, this, the, the URL for the event 
I'll copy here and I'll go back and I'll paste this into paste this into here. So that being done, I can now click go live and that will send whatever's happening on Zoom to Crowdcast. Uh, so preparing to do live streaming uh, from the meeting, uh, that will take a few moments to go through. And when it does, what you'll see is this screen will flip to see uh, the video that's being fed by uh, Zoom in this case. So it's loading the stream right now. If I go back to the Zoom screen, I'll just pull this over to the side here. We can see that this is sending through at 1280 by 720 is the, uh, the resolution. The bit rate, 1386. The bit rate you'll see going up and down depending on uh, your bandwidth and the, the usage that's being made of that. Uh, so as I say, in a few seconds you'll see this image be displayed on this screen here. And that's what your, uh, your guests will be seeing. They'll, they'll be seeing this in full screen. Uh, it's muted just now because if I had that unmuted, I'd be getting feedback uh, looping through my microphone. So uh, what we see here is a delay of what's been happening uh, on uh, Zoom. So this is how you stream, stream uh, your Zoom uh, event, uh, whether it be a web, uh, webcast, uh, a webinar rather, uh, or a meeting uh, directed there. If I had four or five or 25 people on screen here, that's what we'd be seeing here, and that would be broadcast through Crowdcast. So uh, if I wanted to use any other servers to, uh, to, to send content to Crowdcast, such as OBS uh, or, uh, or any other uh, uh, originating software, uh, then I could do the exact same thing by entering the stream keys uh, and making making that happen there. So uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, end broadcast on this and end broadcast on here and that then stops the show. So all I need to do here is end meeting. We know that there's a 20 second delay so end meeting there. Minimize that. Uh, give it another 10 seconds and make sure that you've got to the end of the show there. If I unmute this You'll hear me talking, but I'll just mute it again. Uh, once we get to the end of the show, then click End Broadcast, and we're done. Thank you. So, if you want any uh, any other top tips on how to uh, live stream from uh, Zoom to Crowdcast, or indeed from OBS or any other piece of software uh, to do that, then by all means uh, ask me. Incidentally, I should say that my video feed that goes to Zoom in the first place comes from ManyCam. I'll just pull this over. ManyCam allows me to use multiple cameras at the at the same time. So if I, I can switch from one camera to the other, or I can have images on screen, or I can have uh, uh, lower thirds and so on. So ManyCam allows me to do that. So strictly speaking, we were sending content from uh, my webcam to ManyCam, and ManyCam to Zoom, uh, and then Zoom to Crowdcast. Uh, so uh, uh, many steps have been taken there, so it's not too surprising to see that there's a bit of a lag uh, in the, uh, the, the, uh, the the feed that's going through. Uh, now that the uh, the Zoom meeting has finished and the Crowdcast meeting has uh, sorry event has finished, we can go back to see the Crowdcast uh, video here. And if I play this, this will be the recording that's come through. As you can see, the quality is there. It's a little bit pixelated on that logo down there, but uh, it all works exactly as you would expect. And if there were four, five, or twenty-five people on screen, this is exactly what your audience would be seeing on Crowdcast. Uh, so on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much. I'll be making more videos on how to, uh, to use your technology for video technology. And uh, any questions, please get in contact. Thank you.